Good morning, you guys, and welcome back to another vlog. If you guys are new here, my name is Jenna, and I'm currently in Soho walking to meet Avery, which I'm sure you guys have heard before. And you might be tired of me starting vlogs in the middle of Soho at 7.30 in the morning, but this is my life. So we're gonna do some outfits today. I have this trench on from one mile, but I'll show you guys it a little bit later once we're done we need to crack these out before Avery has to go to work and I have to sign on for the day because I'm working from home. So lots to show you guys, make sure you're subscribed and yeah, let's get this going. Okay, so I am back in the same trench coat and we just did three outfits. I just passed Butler and did not go in and buy anything even though I am craving a croissant. So I'm walking back to my apartment now and going to sign on to work for the day. I kind of wanted to sign on a little bit early because obviously the earlier I sign on like theoretically that's the earlier I'll be done and I have a ton of stuff to do and a ton of things to show you guys so my lunch break is going to be with you guys and then I have to go and change my gym membership and stuff after work so it's just a lot to do and I just want to make sure that I'm not like getting overwhelmed and stuff so yeah very productive too we always get done in like a half an hour which is really great because Avery was going into the office. Now I'm like very hungry for some reason, all of a sudden. So I'm gonna go home and make probably like scrambled eggs on toast. That's what I was like dreaming of <laughs> since I woke up this morning. And I'm just having like a twinge of hunger. So I'll do that when I get back and then start work for the day. I am back home sitting in front of my computer. I've been working for about two and a half hours now and I think it's time to make ourselves a little coffee. I went to drop off my laundry, which you guys would have seen a clip from. That is the second load that I'm doing. The first time I went was yesterday and I wasn't vlogging. I wish I could have gotten that funny experience because like I didn't tie the bag. So as I was walking, the drawstring was like slowly opening and I was like, all of my clothes are going to fall on the street of New York City and I'm just never going to want to wear any of them ever again. But it ended up being fine. I just walked as fast as I can and then fixed it when I got there. But I went again today because I have all my whites. If you guys could believe it, which you probably can because you know I was a little bit of a laundry procrastinator in my last apartment. But I waited now five weeks until taking my laundry there. And granted, last week and the week before, we're just not counting those two weeks because I was leaving here at 8 o'clock in the morning and getting, or 7.30 in the morning and getting back at like 8 p.m. So the laundromat closes at 7 and it opens at 8.30. So there was just no way I could have brought it anyway. So now that I have the time to, we're bringing it and we're bringing all of it. I walked in there this morning and I was like, hi, it's me again. I have all my whites for you. And she was like laughing at me. So that was fine. Um, but they're super sweet and they're also like really good. Like my boyfriend's been using them forever. So I'm just letting it be in their hands. And it's just weird that I don't have to do laundry. I did a load at my friend Megan's this past weekend when we went to Maryland, which I did not vlog. And I forgot to tell you guys that I didn't vlog there because it was just a very chill, laid back weekend. I bought a lot of stuff. So now I have all of that to show you guys during this vlog and probably tomorrow's vlog because I am working from home tomorrow also. But yeah, other than that, it was really chill. So I just didn't really pick up the camera at all. And, but I did do laundry there. And it was like a very strange feeling to have a laundry and dryer like in the apartment. So we are going to dream about that and pray for it because at some point in my life, I would like to have a washer dryer in unit. But for now, we're bringing it to the nice laundry ladies. And um, I still have all of this to put away next to me. So. I'm gonna show you guys some bedding updates because the bed, if you guys could believe it, is finally finished. And then we're gonna make a little coffee at home because I haven't done it in a while. All right, so I'm giving you guys kind of a half-assed bedding update. And I'll tell you guys why in a second, but this is the bedding and this is exactly what it's going to look like when it's finished. And you're probably like, it does look finished, but I absolutely love the texture of everything. The pillows look really nice with the different tones that are in this kind of like linen fabric of the headboard. Um, so I said half-assed because 
I ordered standard pillows from Amazon and they are tiny. Like this is where the pillow ends and it's literally like maybe, I don't know, a foot and a half long. So there is about like four inches of extra space inside of this um, standard cover. So I do actually have to return those today and get another set because I was thinking of just keeping them, but then I don't really like how floppy this looks. And I want them to like stand up so that they fully cover my sleeping pillows. And that's just not happening right now. And I know myself and I know that I'll get annoyed with it and just think like, why did I waste $20 on these pillows that don't even do what I want them to do? So I'm going to bring those back today, but I just wanted to put them on the other day so I could see. And obviously I couldn't figure that out until I actually put them on. But I also wanted to show you guys just so you can see what it is going to look like by the time I actually get something that works. And then these pillow covers, I feel like I didn't talk about these enough, but they are such good quality. They're boucle. They have the upholstery on both sides. Um, the one that was on the couch was actually the wrong one that they sent me. So I have to return that one. And that's the one that you saw that was like not as textured. It didn't have as many like raised um, like fibers and it only had it on one side. So the other one is coming um, later today. So both of those will be done. But yeah, super high quality. I think they're a little bit less than 30 bucks each. And then I just put them over my leopard pillows that you probably have seen plenty of times. If you guys have been on my channel for a while, that's what I used to sit in front of every single time I would film a haul. And now this is going to be the new setup. I'm sure I'm gonna switch it up now that I have like a an apartment that's designed to my type of style. I'll probably sit in the living room and stuff to do hauls too. But um, yeah, if I'm doing them in my bed, then this is what the background is that you'll see. I'm sure you guys probably could have predicted that I was gonna switch it out for something more plain just based on my fashion choices. And then right now over here, styled next to the scaffolding that I think is supposed to come down, but they're waiting on permits um, so that they can stop the construction. But we have a diffuser. This is the bamboo diffuser from Nest. It is the most amazing scent ever. And it's a scent that I think you can have all year round, which I really love because those last forever. And then next to it, I have this little ribbed glass and it's actually from a Williams Sonoma candle that my mom gave me and I love ribbed glass I think it looks so Parisian and I just have a fragrance list candle for my friend's engagement party in there um and then I'll buy like normal white color candles to put in there afterwards because I don't want to have the diffuser and a scent going at the same time so it's good to have a non-scented candle in there and then just the diffuser on the side there but I opened the diffuser yesterday it smells absolutely amazing and it just fills the room all day long which is nice um, I feel like obviously with a candle, you always have to have it lit in order for there to be scent. So I definitely highly recommend a diffuser. They also last 80 times longer than a candle. So it's a really good investment. Okay, so I've done a five minute cleanup. I've showed you guys the little room updates. I'm also going to hang my New Yorker poster today, probably around here. You guys can't really see, but there is a, now you can see there's like a crack, not a crack. There's a curve in the wall here and here. And I'm just going to center it here and so that you can kind of see it. When I'm in the mirror over here, it just as an added detail because I feel like the walls are very plain, but that is going to change soon because I'll be ordering some artwork probably this week and I need to turn this light on. Okay, you guys basically couldn't see anything, but um, yeah, I'm going to order some artwork this week to fill my walls. I have frames for them, but I feel like I want to switch them up a little bit. And if there's a possibility of me switching out the rug, that is the only color left in this room that I kind of want to do a little bit of color, as you guys can see in this picture. And I'll carry that into some of the other ones that I get. But those are all the updates in my room right now. The bed is pretty much finished. I just have to get different inserts. But I am feeling a little bit sleepy. And obviously, when I work from home, there's no part of the day where I'm napping. I also don't really take naps anymore at all. I can't remember the last time I napped besides coming home from Nashville because I got battered and beat that weekend, but um, I'm just gonna make myself a coffee to power through and I'll show you guys my coffee routine because I know I don't make them at home a lot and it's kind of become like part of my morning to go out and get a cup of coffee, but I do also want it to be like part of my life where I make coffee at home and it's just more practical and it's cheaper and I shouldn't be spending that much money on coffee anyway. But I also randomly need to update you guys on my hair. So you guys can see that it's getting a little bit long. I wanted to keep it long, but have some dimension in it. And 
I'm not getting my hair cut, obviously, because I want it to grow a little bit more just for the winter time. But like everything was kind of one length. Like my bang or face frame up here was like down to here. So everything just looked the same. So when I was at my friend Megan's, I took her, her kitchen scissors and cut myself a little face frame. So I did this when my hair was dry and it's kind of looking wrong now because I did it on like an angle. Um, but maybe because it's curled, I have no idea. I don't know. I think I did a fair enough job and you guys can see that there's like this shorter part to my hair now instead of having it all one length, but obviously I'm not a hairdresser. I just did as best as I could with a pair of kitchen scissors and that's what it turned out to be. But I don't recommend cutting your own hair at home. I've done it plenty of times before. I've made mistakes before. I have cut myself bangs and this was probably the most successful I've been. So I just wanted to show you guys, but yeah, plans to keep the hair long for probably a month or two and then maybe I'll get it cut. But I just like having really long hair in the winter time for some reason. Maybe it's like a human thing where I'm trying to like stay warm. I have no idea. Um, but let's go make a coffee and I need to stop talking because this is the longest home update ever. Okay, so we are going to make what I call a cozy coffee and I feel like that's perfect for the weather that we are experiencing right now. It's starting to get a little bit colder. I know we had one day that was like 70 degrees, which was so uncalled for, but we're getting back into the colder weather. This always happens. Basically, the weather gets super hot for no good reason and then it just drops. So. I'm preparing myself. I have a new cozy outfit. We're going to make a cozy coffee. And basically the only thing that constitutes it being cozy is using hazelnut. I don't know what it is about this. And I feel like it's so underrated to have hazelnut in your coffee. But anytime I get it at like Blank Street or any coffee shop that has it, I will always get hazelnut over caramel. And it's just because there's just this, there's just this way about it. And it just makes you feel warm and fuzzy. So I just popped out the old coffee cup and we're gonna use the Nespresso Arafio. So this is basically just, I think it's one shot of espresso. If it's two, then I will be bouncing off the walls, but I think it's just one. Um, Cause when I bought them, I think I bought a shot, like a package that was just one shot. And then I have one that's two, which is kind of out of control, but I'm just gonna brew the espresso first because we're making a latte. You guys, I swear the Nespresso machine is like, I don't know, it's, in my old apartment, it was so temperamental, like I was having to do a cleaning cycle on it every single time I was making a coffee, which was a little bit irritating, but there's like six different codes of what's wrong with it, and basically like it'll blink orange, or it blinks twice when it's white, or I have no idea, but I just put more water in it, I think that was the issue. Okay, we're brewing. I'm also insanely thirsty over the past couple days and I don't know why, because I've been pretty good. Okay, he is loud. Okay, espresso is brewed. I'm just putting ice into my butler glass. I went to a coffee shop when I was in Maryland this past weekend. We were in Georgetown. It's called Biddy and something else. I think that starts with a B, Biddy and Ben. I don't know what it was, but they also had these really cute glasses and I kind of wanted to get one because it was the same exact shape as this. And I thought it'd be cute to have a couple of them in the cabinet from different places, but they were $10 and I had just spent some money at cause, which I'm going to show you guys what I bought from them later, but it just deterred me from getting anything else basically. So I skipped on the $10 glass, but now I'm kind of regretting it. Okay. So I filled the cup to about here with milk, but I'm using 1% milk and then I'm just going to pour the espresso over and we get this satisfying I don't know what to call that mixture. And then just mix it with a straw. I don't know why I normally mix the coffee before I put the sweetener in. I think I'm also supposed to put this in first, but um, 
we're establishing a routine, you guys. So I'll probably get better as the times go on. And the other reason why I have to establish an at-home coffee routine is because this bottle is huge. Now I have like three bottles of this and I'm like, who is going to be able to finish that? And I have to, I mean, they expire in like two years, so it's not a big deal, but the bottles are huge. So I'm going to try to make coffee at home more often. And I feel like I always forget how fun it is. Something also that I have to try from Nespresso is like getting um, pods that make regular coffee so that I can do like a cold brew situation with milk. Um, Cause I also, that's like my other order when I go to a coffee shop, but I'm always afraid that it's gonna be too much caffeine. So I skip out on the cold brew and get a latte. But as I said, my one yesterday was a little bit too milky, which that's what a latte is. Okay, so I only put two capfuls of the hazelnut in, so we're gonna do a taste test. This is a pretty good color. Yeah, definitely only two capfuls. I mean, this is a smaller portion, so I didn't wanna go nuts, but that is definitely the limit for me because I don't like it. I like my coffee sweet, but I don't want it to taste fake, if that makes sense. So coffee was a success. I will link the syrups that I use and the pod that I used, but this is the one that I popped in there again, just in case you guys um, have an espresso and want to try them, but highly recommend. It is technically, if you're not me and haven't been on your bad behavior and <laughs> have not been buying coffees out, this is a really good investment because you'll just save a lot more over time because a cup of coffee is like five or six dollars now, even if you're going to Starbucks in the middle of nowhere, it's so expensive. And this probably cost me, the pods are $11 and I think 10 are in there. So it's like a dollar and 10 cents for that. And then milk and whatever else, it just works itself out. So I'll link that stuff for you guys. And I'll also link my glass straws because these are the best things that ever happened to me. Someone mentioned too that they had metal ones and that they liked them better, but I prefer to have a glass one just because you could see inside of it. So if you have like a smoothie or something and you're trying to clean it, sometimes you can't see like where to clean. So that's why I prefer glass ones over metal, but both are saving the environment and the turtles. So to each their own, but I'm going to sit back down do some more work. And then at my lunch break, which is almost in less than an hour and I need to show you guys my new roommate quickly. Okay, so this is our little sleeping beauty. She's so quiet. <laughs> Honey, do you wanna come say hi to the vlog? We actually have not introduced her yet, I don't think. She's been on my Instagram once, but um, Amanda had been moving in her stuff slowly and just started staying at the apartment um, starting this week, so she hasn't been here yet. But what are you doing? Are you just having a little lay? And you have your little stiletto toy. I'm sorry that I disturbed you. I'm sure you don't mind though, because you love people. She'll run up to anybody on the sidewalk and want to be pet and want to say hi. She's so sweet, but yeah, this is our new roommate. She matches the living room decor. This is the <laughs> this is the insert for the pillow that's coming today. Actually, I might as well show you guys this one. Um, so this is the boot clay that is on both sides, which is the way that the other one should have been. And it's a little bit whiter, which I actually like because this tone in the linen is also in, is what this pillow is. So I think it'll look really nice. I just have to fluff it up a little bit more because these are all alternative down. So they don't shape as well as down inserts do, but that's the other sad one over there. But yeah, honey is fitting in right with the aesthetic. Now we just have to get you neutral colored toys. I'm totally kidding. Okay, I'm gonna go do some work and then I'll come play, okay? Good girl. All right, I just had a couple of snacks that I probably should not have eaten because it's almost lunchtime, but I, this is the most disgusting combination I've ever had in my life, I think. So I just wanted to show you guys because I think it's super funny. And mind you, I was basically chasing this with a coffee. So we have snacks that were not from a real grocery store. These were from, where did I get these? TJ Maxx. 
toffee covered pretzels these are amazing if you guys like chocolate covered pretzels try to find something like this they're a really good like little snack to have i know they're not good for you but these are definitely not good for you i have two left over i basically got these right before halloween like the sunday before and now these are both gone i also have some what are these little sour belts these don't taste like the original so just beware it's our little snack cabinet but it's like amazing how much better the lighting is in the living room but my revolve package just got delivered so i'm gonna hop downstairs quickly and grab that and maybe give you guys a sneak peek because i'm gonna film a video for it probably i always say during my lunch but it might have to be afterwards because or H&M might have to be afterwards because it'll be darker. Um, but I might have to just flip-flop that and do H&M after work and then do my video during my lunch. But we'll see. It's not a lot of stuff in this first order. I have another one that is shipping soon. So we'll do this one first. Hopefully get that video up sooner because I know I like always bombard you guys with the Revolve hauls like back to back. And it's like we need a little bit of a break in between. So I'll show you guys what I got once I grab it. I have placed probably four Amazon orders in the past week and I've forgotten to get slippers in every single one of them. And so these are the only slip-on shoes that I have. So we're walking downstairs in some fluffy Gucci loafers. Honey, is this going to be your first unboxing ever? Is it? I think it is. I don't think you've ever seen me unbox. Okay, you want to be involved in the fun. I get it, but I have to take you out first. Okay, because we can't have the peeps on the apartment. Especially Mama's rug. She would be not very happy with you if that happened. So, we have a little package here. This is probably going to be everything that consists of the first haul video. And I'll do try-ons. I know that there were probably some of you guys that were like, why did you just show us the pieces and you didn't actually try them on? And it was because I just had like two crazy weeks and didn't have time if i'm being honest so we've got some really nice pieces in here and i'll just open them up with you this first one i'm really excited about because anytime i see someone european or someone that i think is dressed cool it's because they have like really cool denim or really cool pants with whatever else they're wearing which is usually a basic so i picked up these pants from lovers and friends and they're basically a very wide leg jeans so basically if you were to think of like my black straight leg trousers they're that but in denim so i thought those were really cool and i think they're gonna fit really interestingly but we'll see then i have a bodysuit that is like a pop of material which sounds like it's really uncomfortable but i sized up just in case not sized up but i got small um and it just kind of has like these pleats in the front which I think is a really nice detail and then goes into a regular bodysuit and thought that would be cute with jeans or with trousers to wear to work um and then we have I don't know oh this is a really cute little velvety bodysuit so it's a turtleneck and then it kind of has like this racer shape and then it goes down into a bodysuit and it's this nice thick velvety material really cute to wear out you could throw on a leather jacket if you're like walking somewhere and then just take it off and have the bodysuit on its own. But really cute with like black jeans, trousers. Um, if you wanna dress it down a little bit, you can wear it with like regular denim. And then this sweater I'm so excited for because I feel like this is exactly me. So we have, what's going on? I cannot have a comb over. Um, we have a black cardigan, which you guys are probably like, stop buying cardigans, we don't need more but it's this kind of like fluffy material with curls all over it that kind of look like po polka dots. So it's killing two birds with one stone. It's a really, really soft knit and it has like that brush material. So I thought that that would be really cute with just a pair of jeans or again with like black cigarette trousers to wear to work. I feel like that in loafers is a really polished and pretty look. And I definitely th need things like that. And then the last one, is another cardigan but basically the polar opposite of the one i just showed you it's this kind of chenille fabric i would say and it has this cream color with tortoise buttons down the front and then in the back it has this longer length which i think is super cozy and nice to throw on any like more dressy outfit just to make it a little bit cozier for fall so that's everything that i got 
from Revolve. I have to hop onto a call quickly and finish out some more emails and then it'll be my lunch break. So I will probably film this video or head to H&M, whatever I decide, because I feel like it's gonna be something that I don't decide until I'm actually doing it. Okay guys, we have chicken nuggets in the air fryer. I just had two Oreos, so that's kind of a gross combination. Um, and we have a vlog in here. I'm on my lunch break right now, if you guys couldn't tell. And I'm just gonna hang this painting quickly while my chicken nuggets cook. So this little guy is going right up on the wall there. I have to figure out where I'm putting the other New Yorker. Maybe it'll go in the living room just to add a little bit more color because it's very monochrome in there. And then I don't know which one's behind it. I can't remember, but yeah, we're gonna just do this quickly. I'm gonna take my measurements, make sure it's all right. And then we'll have a cute little piece of artwork, even though the rest of the walls in here are completely plain, which we will fix pretty soon. I just finished my chicken nuggets and changed up my outfit a little bit because I have to leave and go change my membership because I belonged to Crunch at my old neighborhood and I only did the one location, not multiple, because I am cheap. So I have to switch to this location and I haven't done it since I moved in. I just took off the joggers from my Aritzia set because it's a little hotter out and this is like a really good heavyweight, like softer sweatshirt material and I thought I was gonna sweat in it because it's around 60 degrees, I think. Um, so I kept the crew neck on. My leggings are from Mango. I think they still sell these. They're just super high-waisted ribbed leggings. My socks are the Kind Club socks from Brunette the Label. I'll link those for you guys. I also have a discount code for them that I think is ongoing. And then I threw on little Nike Dunks. And then I have an Anina Bing hat and my Amazon $40 Bottega dupe. This necklace is from Cosenza and I think that's it. So I'm just gonna walk up there quickly to see if I can switch it over. They said I could switch it over if I send them an email and then I called again and someone said I can come in person, but I couldn't do it last night because it was too late and the person who handles the accounts and everything wasn't there anymore. So I'm just gonna get this over with now because I think we're going to the gym again tonight. I'm trying to establish a habit without being too crazy about it in the beginning because I feel like I always get these spurts of working out and then because I'm working out five days a week or whatever it is and then I stop, then I like completely stop. <laughs> so I'm trying to eliminate that and just have like a nice, easy, consistent routine. And that's the goal. So I'm gonna head out like this, take you guys into the streets of New York City for a little bit and then I will continue on with my work day. Alright, so I'm walking back from the gym now and I stopped in this cute little store and got yelled at for taking pictures. And I've heard of people getting in trouble in Zara and places like that, but this is like a, I guess it's a small business. I have to look it up to see if they have other, other locations, but I don't know. I got scared, but I was still like friendly, so I was like, really gonna yell at me? Oh, they have a Lumia store. Also very satisfying to look at. Oh, that sweater was really cute. But I'm on my way back now. I took a different way home just because I like to explore. That's the Astrid and Miu store on the side there. There's also, I think there's an Aesop store around here. But I went in when I was in DC or Georgetown and I didn't really like their, I asked what the most popular one was for their kitchen soap, like any soap. And I didn't really like it which was weird. But yeah, there's a lot of shops down here. I think I'm on Elizabeth, um, south of Bowery. And yeah, lots of cute places. Oh, there's the Aesop store. We are just gonna walk by and act as if nothing happened. Okay, guys. So I just got home and <laughs> obviously I just told you that this guy yelled at me for taking pictures in the store. This has not happened to me before and it would have been fine so basically the store had like all warm neutral colored decor and we have a huge shelving unit as you guys know in the living room if you've seen like the mini apartment tour and I want to style it up with a bunch of stuff and some of the things were really expensive like $75 and then 
some other things i don't know if it was because of the material like they had some olive oil like not olive oil olive wood trays and stuff that were around like 40 which i thought would be really cute to like warm up the space in there but he told me to not take pictures which is totally fine obviously i respect that and i was like oh i'm so sorry like i have a youtube channel and i wanted to share it and like tell people to come here and he was like yeah no that's totally fine but we just don't allow it and i was like okay and then there was another lady in there who was looking for something and he was she said oh do you have any other ones of these that are a little less pricey and he was like you yeah, know we have these like they're really they're priced really really well at 175 i think and i was like okay this guy definitely looked at me and was like that's a fake bottega bag like you're just walking in here in your hat and your sweatshirt like not buying anything and the lady was like after she saw the product she was like oh do you guys run any sales he goes we don't do sales and like the I don't know it just maybe I was like on my guard after because I got yelled at but and I, I keep saying yelled at I didn't get yelled at I he asked me to not take pictures and I just got embarrassed but he was just saying it in this like pretentious tone and I don't know if it was just me again like misconstruing what he was saying but like it just I don't know it gave me like kind of an icky vibe and I'm like there was a throw blanket in there it was full wool and it was this warm gray color and it was $200 and that's not something that I would buy on a regular day but if I wanted to save up my money and buy my next like staple piece of like my interiors and my wardrobe like maybe I would have gone there but it just wasn't the greatest experience so sorry I'm so thirsty <coughs> and choking on water on top of it um but yeah it wasn't the greatest experience so I don't know if I'll go back there but it was really cute and honestly like maybe I would go back I just won't buy anything Unless I really like the throw. I don't know. I'm sure I can find something really similar on Etsy that's not $200. But I did think that was a really good price for like a huge like natural material throw. Um, but anyway, just a funny little experience that I literally got scared about. And I'm back in the apartment now, as you guys can see. I'm going to wait for the second couch pillow to be delivered. I mean, I'm not going to be sitting here waiting for the couch pillow literally, but... Once it comes in, I'll pop that on the couch and then that area will be finished. And I'm just going to keep cracking on with work until then. I have about two and a half hours left. Sounds like a lot, but I do have a lot of stuff to get done. So I'll be very busy. And then um, what are we doing tonight? I think I'm going to the gym again, which I'm actually happy about. And since I switched over my membership, I'm just glad that I got that out of the, out of the way. But I basically just went and they had me sign a piece of paper. So I was like, I just walked 15 minutes here just for you guys to have my signature. Like I could have done that when none of you guys were here. But anyway, it's all switched over. I got one more thing on my to-do list checked off. And yeah, my room's really clean. So I don't have to worry about that. And we're just very organized and ready to finish out work for the day. So I know it looks like I have not changed or moved since I last saw you guys. But I finished work for the day and it's around 6.20. I'm going to walk to get my laundry now because I wanted to get it done in the same day. So I dropped it off when they opened at 830. And if you drop it off early enough, that means you could pick it up within the same day. So I have to go grab it. I'm going to show you guys my cozy little on the go outfit. It's not really much different than what I had on before, but I did change a couple things. And I figured I would give you guys as much outfit inspo as I can. Now that we're getting into colder weather, it is a little bit chillier outside now. So I have like a couple extra layers and I don't know, I always love seeing people's outfits in their vlogs and I feel like I have been neglecting that part. So I'm gonna show you guys. So we've got the same Aritzia crew neck underneath and my leggings have stayed the same. I changed my socks to a fresh pair. These are from H&M, I get them in a pack of like 10 or something and they always have them online so i'll link them for you and then i switched to my new balance sneakers i'm thinking of getting a new pair and i'll share those with you guys once i decide to get them or if i just end up picking them up and it being a surprise then i'll unbox them with you guys um, and then i have this fluffy sherpa jacket from revolve it's the brand well-being and being well and i have the matching pants that i should probably wear but i don't think it's cold enough yet for them and then still have my hat on which i took off obviously to work but then um i just threw it back on because i like the way that it looks with these 
colors. Not that anyone could see. Okay, tripping over the rug. <laughs> I need to tape that down. Um, but not that anyone could see anything because it's dark out now. And I still have my Amazon bag. So let's go pick up the laundry. Actually, my laundry bag matches the top of my hat. So it's funny. I wish someone could see it. Guys, it has been so many hours. I actually shouldn't say so many, but I'm back from the gym wearing the most ridiculous outfit on the planet. I showered. I didn't wash my hair though because I styled it today and I could probably get like three days out of it, but I got it a little bit wet when I was bending down to pick something up in the shower. So I have to just dry this quickly, but I'm trying to figure out my outfit for work tomorrow. And I think we're going to be doing this sweater. Obviously, I'm going to put a tank top under it. We're not doing a DV, deep V situation for work. And then I will do black straight leg trousers on the bottom. I can't remember if this is the one. Oh no, it was the other bodysuit. So I think we're gonna do white underneath just because I feel like it's a lot of black. And I think this tank top is gonna cover enough. I don't know, I just feel weird about having something ribbed underneath something like this because I feel like it looks sloppy. So maybe we will do a black bodysuit because I don't think I have a white one that covers, but I'm like, what should I put under this? Like a t-shirt maybe? I just had all my t-shirts wash. Look at this laundry. It's like perfectly folded. They put it inside of a bag and then put it inside of my bag. Like feeling so blessed. I had to take a towel out of the top. That's why it's sitting upside down. But yeah, um, I went and picked up my laundry and stuff and I'm just feeling very organized and ready to actually start packing for something that I will share with you guys in the next vlog. But it is late and I did pick up some popcorn. I feel like this bodega is going to be the death of me because I just really wanted popcorn. I shouldn't have that after working out, but I've done it two days in a row and I just want to keep going. So we're going to give ourselves a little reward, watch some Mad Men and then head off to bed. But I wanted to thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. Um, I feel like it's been a long one, but we will see once I actually edit it. Um, but I appreciate you guys so much and I hope you'll subscribe and join the family. I would love to have you and I hope to see you all in my next video.